So don't take emotionally, and I want you to really think wisely. Because your job is what? Make your sales better, make your environment happy, make everybody works happy and fun, and make your boss happy, and make myself also happy. But if you take everything like this way, emotionally, that's going to be getting worse and worse. And your employees also feel it. How you think, even though you don't show, you don't really speak out. So we really need to practice this kind of stuff, handle this situation, how you can make it better. So I want to invite my assistant, Muni and Sandy from Chicago. She's the manager. And Sandy is going to be the future manager also. So I want to, where is my? Okay, let's practice what it, when this one happened, how you really need to handle. Please consider, think about your employees. So you are the one who been treated from those two managers if that happened. So the first situation is you know, calling in only 30 minutes before opening the they cannot work. Does that happen to you? Yeah, right? So if that happened, how you need to react that? Okay, let's do that. Muni, can you say that? Call? You call. <laughs> I'm not able to come and open the store right now. What's wrong? What? Where are you sick? Well, it's actually, I just need a photo. I have a finger. Okay, well, you don't have to come. Can you at least open the car because you're not really, really far away? No, I, I really can't. I just really don't feel good. I can't get a finger out of bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But next time if you know you're going to be sick, please eat medicine before because this kind of situation cannot happen again. Okay, so I hope you feel better. All right. How do you feel if you are a manager who's calling like this way? I don't know. She may lie. Right? She went to the club yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> right? But as long as she stay like that, don't take that wrong. The situation you have to really do it, focus on this. What she takes, that is, she instantly worry about how can I open it, right? So, and she's kind of get an instantly headache, what can I do? Freaking, freaking out, right? So I can really tell the, her reaction is more like that kind of thing, right? And how did you feel when you, you know, when she say like that? I, I kind of feel that she was upset by her tone of voice. Uh -huh. So that made me feel so, let's say she's lying, for example, right? But even though she lies, but when she takes that way, she never thinks she's, she's wrong. She doesn't feel like, you know, she has to be sorry to her. She even getting worse, right? Oh, why, she, why she does do that? I don't like that way. It's kind of the same thing happening. So, let's do how Sandy handled that situation again. because she really respects her. She likes how she cares her. So how, of course, in her mind, okay, let's see, inside, what you thinking is, she's worried, same thing. Yes. How could I open it? But what she needs to do is, this is a fact. She calling her, she's not coming. Even though she's too sure, she's, she's not able to make the phone open. So what you really need to focus on is 
what, what can we do to make this situation better? And first of all, you really have to care about it. How do you do it? Is that okay? And what she said is, I know you don't do this way. I understand. And then, you know, feel better, please. And I hope you feel better. And, you know, I can see you tomorrow. If you really care about her, she's going to be much better. She's going to really trust her manager and respect her, even admire her. Of course, she did find out sort of the problem, right? That's your, that's your job, right? So you have to call someone and ask, oh, you can go, you have to go. And it, this is the happened a few months ago in Minnesota. And Nana had, had to go to school early in the morning. And then she got a call, exactly the same thing. The girl who has to open, she called her. And she seems like this. And then she called me early in the morning and I don't know what to do, I'm in the school and nobody can open it. And she kind of freaked out. I know, opening the store is really important, as you know. You don't want to get a fine from the home. It's very important, she knows. So I told her, relax, calm down. <laughs> don't be nervous, it can be happen. Nana, the fact is you cannot come on time. So what can we do? And we don't have anybody can come open. I was Orlando, I was in Orlando, I can go, right? That's the fact, so how we can you know, solve the problem. I called the neighbor who, you know, we, are, we had a really good relationship with. So I called him, that was the first time ever in entire my business life also, right? So I called my neighbor, I'm sorry this one happened, sorry about the can you open the car, please? And he was very happy to help me. That's it. And then the girl came, even though, she, because she reacted that way, and this girl was busy, but she came to the store. And then she was waiting until she come. And then she left. So later on, of course, she really appreciated how she treated her. So this is the thing we really need to focus on, how you need to treat employees like that. Way. Then you can have her forever. At least she doesn't leave, she doesn't move out of her, at least 50 cents difference, right? Or maybe she may you know, move to a different store, maybe a dollar difference, because they really need money, but they don't need from you at least 25 cents or 30 cents or 50 cents. So that's how you need to treat your employees. Second case, when neighbors say that my employee keeps using the cell phone when she's working alone, like that. So what you need to do, okay, I, can you tell her, can you tell her? Your neighbor, right? Hello. Hello. How are you, Daddy? What's up? Oh, much. How's your dad? Oh, my name is good. How are yours? I'm good, but you know, we're very close. But yeah. I just wanted to tell you, because I know you want to know, like, some of your employees, you know, when you're not here, they're always on the phone. And sometimes, what? you know, they'll miss <laughs> customers because they're on the phone. Oh, I just thought God. you should know. Really? Who? Who was on the phone? Sharon. <gasps> Sharon? Oh my God, I cannot believe she did that. Oh. Okay, I need to talk. Thank you for telling me. I just cannot believe she did that. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you may wear like this way, right? You instantly really upset her because you trust her. So you assume she's good at work by herself when she works. But it, it could happen. You know, have you, have you done like that before when you are into it? It kind of understanding, right? So you don't have to take that emotionally. What you need to focus on is how could you make it change, right? So what do you want to do in this case? Uh, for me, I would tell my neighbor, thank you so much for your concern. I really appreciate it. And I would really say you've been too emotional. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so in this case, of course, you have to appreciate who takes care of your business, your neighbor, of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I like you. Yeah, I'll take care of Thank you so much. If you see that, please tell me. Of course, we need to know, right? But your reaction has to be not telling instantly, you know, I need to talk to you. Sharon, please, come. And we need to see it. And what you did, like this and this and this. She, number one, she may lie to you. I didn't do that. And your relationship getting worse. Right? 
I normally do is if I keep hearing that situation, what I do is I just go there without any uh, notice. And then I have to see by myself. I don't want to hear someone else, right? So I have to go there and then look. She's using phone. She's not focusing at work, right? And then if I see that, of course, how does she wear? Of course, she's kind of like person. Oh, you know, like, how do you like this? <laughs> so then I usually make her be like, you know, feel sorry to me. I don't say anything. You know, I know you work hard, right? Okay. You know what to do. That's it. Why are you going to say anymore? You don't take that too emotional and what, what you're supposed to do is like that company role and whatever. They know. They know what they need to do. But they sometimes like that. So number one, I want you to please understand because they are not robot. They, have, they can focus at every single moment. But it could happen. But just to say, I would be really appreciate you if you focus at work, right? But I understand. How true was they, a boyfriend? Okay, but we need to kind of a little bit of talk, but personal, it's okay. I don't want you to just keep only business, 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 right? But you can talk a little bit of personal thing, but don't go too much. So this one can thing happen, right? Let's see. How about next one? Getting a noise from an employee saying that this is her last day. Ooh, that happened, right? <laughs> so what you gonna do? Let's see. Who cared? So she came back actually. 
So who knows, you know, the, the, the reason why we really need to keep employing long time, especially at Soho. Why? Why do we need to keep her long? Because it takes really, really long time to make them sick. This business is really special. It's not a business like a folding the folding of clothes or just a, you know easy cashing or using a register or just a, hi welcome. Not that kind of simple job. Our job is very very high technique necessary, right? So we need more experience. We need a lot a lot of things like you guys training. So many things to teach them, train them. So you take a lot of time, energy, you know, up, you know, time and money. So when she leaves, it's really, really losing money, like Sarah Sazang said this morning. So I don't want to lose my employees already. I put a lot of effort on her. So the best way, keeping a long time and make them sales better. I have to keep training them. So this is our goal has to be. So not just, you know, okay, you want to go, okay, go. You don't come on time, this is first one, second one, okay, next one you go. If you keep doing it, then who's gonna stay there? So we really need to care them and make them comfortable to work here. And that's the best way we can keep them. That's what I believe, right? The last one is, employee has to raise her pay, but I don't think she deserves it. Let's do it, let's try. What she respects is, you know, really raise her pay. But we can, it's kind of, like you guys do mistake normally. If she's really nice to me, she's kind of really cute to me, and she's always smiling at me, and she's really doing good in front of me. So it's hard to see when she, when she's, she works with someone that's not without me, and sometimes she's not good. Do you understand? She's really only good at me. It, it could happen. So I like her as a human being. Yeah, I kind of like her. So you know, sometimes you it's hard to decide. You know, raise or pay a kind of evaluation. So in this case, what you really need to do? Oh, okay. Oh, how? When was the last day I you know raise or pay? He said, okay. Then uh, I'll I'll give you my evaluation paper. So let's talk. Can we talk like you know? say or two days later, is that okay to you? So we have to take that more like uh Isom Jungo. How close is that? Rationally, right? So this is what we need to do. So numbers of work